Hello again folks, I'm King Blacktooth and this is a set through myself and True Talent which he has already uploaded these matches with his own commentary so you can go there and watch his sort of perspective which is really nice and he's supporting Power Ranger Pink as you can see now I'm not supporting anything just bland old Goken and maybe that's the problem, maybe I had the wrong colour on anyway, so I was quite nervous at the beginning of these matches start with a fireball as I usually do <laughs> I missed some links there, some basic links I am quite nervous. I don't know why. I think it's just because people have been asking about him and I know he's very good. Okay, I should have option selected that with medium punch palm. And maybe that one too. I'm not very comfortable with that one though. Okay, I tried to predict that. Backdash to get away. Parry in case he did something. A, a longer one, for example. Okay, he's very good at teching there. <laughs> we both are. Anyway, okay. I maybe could have done my ultra there. I could have, but maybe I should have, should I say. Okay, that was punished. That was a good FADC from his side, because that's very unsafe. Trying to do Demon Flips, he doesn't seem to be anti-airing me very much at the minute. Uh, okay, throw one of them out, it's quite safe for him I think. Again, I got punished for the EX Demon Flip, but not a big punish. Trying to predict a jump, there he was, and he predicted another one. We traded, but he won, so that's, that's going to be a win for him, because he's still got life left, basically. That's the rules of the game. Okay, again, I got the upper hand there. I am trying to predict those things. I'm doing neutral jumps now to stop this get pressure. He's not doing like a medium or heavy kick version, so he's not actually going underneath me, which is what I want for a max damage combo. So that's very smart on his side. So I'm actually struggling to get a good damage combo on, out on him. And I'm surprised he went through that. I thought I did it quite early, and there is a bit of a vulnerability area of that head stomp. Okay. Oh, that was a long one. That's what I want. Full damage. And the recovery on that was very, very large. Uh, that was the heavy kick version. So, that's probably why he's not doing it, to be honest. It had tons of recovery. Okay. He's building a bit of meter by the looks of things and just trying to see what I'd do, I imagine. Oh, there we go. Jump back, heavy kick. Again, I shouldn't be parrying. He doesn't seem to be anti airing me very much. And again, I'm neutral jumping in the corner. He's not getting close enough, so I have to walk forward. Do a grab. Option select. EX Tatsu, yes. Uh, I think that messed up, though, because I didn't actually hit him with the thing. Because he didn't do anything. He just grabbed. So I think I messed it up, and I just got lucky there. Okay, tech. Oh, neutral jumping again. Now I did the demon foot grab to reverse the rolls, basically. Oh, now I shouldn't focus attack that. That was a double hit in, and I knew that. The problem is you can't parry it either. The only way you can parry it is... I don't know why that is. You can't heavy punch parry it because you get hit by both. Almost simultaneously. It's really weird. The only way you can parry it is to do a double parry. So heavy punch into EX. But that's pretty difficult to do. Um, but he got me with normal pressure in the end, which is <laughs> very common. His normal pressure is really good. It's not something I can compete with very much at all. Neutral jump to start. And no option select on that one. I'm not very comfortable with normal jumps. Because it's got more of a chance to go. I oh, option selected that one. I think I got it wrong again. Um, I didn't hit him, but the palm strike came out anyway. Okay. Now, I did a low parry there to try and catch any crouching attack into scissor kick pressure. But he doesn't seem to be doing it very much. The low attacks in between the scissor kick pressure. So, I'm kind of trying to notice that. Okay, I've got to deal with all this pressure. Again, I can't get away, so I do a medium punch palm. That will go through his his heavy kicks. I uh, should have followed that up, really. And I was, I, I guess that one, which was pretty cool. I'm trying to catch a head stomp so I can get my ultra. Not working very well. Now, I think that EX, EX fireball I did was unsafe. In hindsight, I didn't know it was unsafe at the time. Um, but I, I think that's a, a really low-level thing to do, throwing one of those out. Only... Only crap people really fall for that. They see the first one and then jump. So I probably shouldn't have done that. And that's the reason why it was unsafe. Because he had Ultra 2 and he can easily punish me for them. Especially the EX. But I didn't know he had Ultra 2. That's a hindsight on my thing. I'm going to blame that on Nerds if you don't mind. Because I wasn't paying attention to what Ultra you picked. Which is a big, big issue. Okay, neutral jump again. He tried to predict my jump there. Oh, then that was to catch a crouching tech. And since he doesn't seem to be doing crouching light normals, I did the heavy punch because I expected him to do a standing heavy kick. And I was right. 
So the main problem, I knew that was a cross up, so I didn't quick rise there. Now he's going to start anti airing me soon. I should be anti airing those. I just. Throughout the entire game, I'm not anti airing at all, which is a problem. Um, it just completely went off away from my mind, and that's something I should really be doing. You can't let Bison get in on you very easily. And I missed that again. That was so close. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. Punished again, not too big. Apart from I haven't got much health. Just block, he's gonna do something. Okay, I was jumping too much there. He predicted the second one. But if I'd have stood there, he probably would have got me into scissor kick pressure and tried to chip me down, so it's or, or got me with a random standing heavy kick. So that was pretty dangerous generally to be on that low health. And there you go, there's a good example of how his forward dash is really very powerful. Now he seems to be aware that I'm doing standing medium kicks now. Oh, I missed that timing. Ah, uh, that's good, but I missed the link. Again, he's teched. I shouldn't be trying to grab him on these. He seems really good at teching, like like myself, hopefully. So I should be anti-airing all of these. Oh, he, he didn't dash out of it, so that's... I never got to punish him. That was a trade, but... in his, All these trades seem to be in his favour, which is a shame. Oh, okay, empty jump. Uh, what's he going to do? Yeah, okay. Predict the second one of those. Then he might have done a standing heavy kick on the third one. But, again, I shouldn't have focus attacked that Devil's Reverse because it was an EX. And again, see, I'm kind of doing the same things. That's probably a bad thing. I'm expecting an EX something. Nope. Oh, I should have anti-aired that. That would have won me the round if I would anti-aired that. But like I said, I'm not... I don't seem to be doing anything in terms of anti-airing really bad okay that that's pro pro button pressures he's he's got tons of inputs he really has okay anti had me there and that was a, a clutch sort of parry there so I'll try and be less clutch now can't do anything I don't know why I sweep there you can't do that and he was waiting for that and so he's pretty much I think is he gonna get perfect I can't remember he's styling on me okay you missed that so that's gonna be a punish um, option select, failed it again, and I jumped him. So it, the, he can really easily anti air with that. And I'm not anti airing at all. So that's probably one of the biggest problems in these matches is that I'm not anti airing. And he's predicting a lot of my jumps, increasingly so. That was an easy, easy anti air. I don't know what went on there. And he's, he's ready with that. Okay, Steven Flip Parry was not a good idea. Actually, I think I did press grab, but it didn't work. Okay, good. I got the the crouching tech with my parry. And again, guess that he's going to do standing heavy kick, because that's what he normally does. Tried to guess the jump with my jumping medium punch. Didn't work, and he, he guessed that I was going to jump, and he can punish me with a psycho crusher with that. There we go. No option select again. I don't think I can option select that very easily. Because it's not, you know, it's, it's awkward timing, so... Especially since I think it was going for a cross-up, so that would have been weird. Okay, what's this? What to do, what to do, I don't know. Fireball, careful. Okay. I have to use EX there, otherwise I'm not really going to get out. And again, I jumped towards him, which he was reading very well. I was trying to go for predicting one of his jump. Now... The main problems with all of these matches so far, that's what I was trying to do, is that I'm having to predict a lot. Um, you can see how much I'm predicting. Now the first palm strike there wasn't punishable, um, but the second one was because he dashed forward, so it, it messed up the positioning. But I'm having to predict a lot of, with my parries, I'm having to predict a lot with jumps, which are getting me killed a lot. Um, which is pretty bad because Bison is a safe character. If I just let him do what he wants, it's very safe. So the only way I can get him off me is by predicting with a parry usually. He attacks is way too risky. Okay, so I'm just blocking forever. Absolutely forever. And he predicted one of those, which... I don't know, maybe I should have stayed on the floor, but if I would, I don't think he would have jumped. Option selected, good. 
tried to finish it. Um, and this is what I got, which I couldn't have done much about. If I'd have dashed forward twice, which is something I'll learn from now on. When he's on low health, and I think he's got that option, dash forward twice and do the demon flip a bit a bit later so that I'm still in the air so that he won't catch me when I reach the floor. Yes, yeah, so that's what I'll do. But apparently you learn that trick on Akumas. Uh, that you can't do that sort of technique. And I'm just blocking forever. Teching still. And now he keeps doing the same thing so I'm trying to stop him. And he keeps going for crouching light punch. It took me long enough. And I jumped again. He punished me. Try and get some pressure. Doesn't work. I basically have to just push him out and he gets the back dash and I know about the cross up sort of maneuver there okay try and do some mix up not working too well not anti airing again so I can see my my faults very clearly in hindsight but as I said I was quite nervous and going on a lot of instinct so I was messing up several things now the main thing that I wish I could do here was I wish I could fight him more often now, because he's very good at Bison, he's very aggressive, a lot more aggressive than most people. Um, okay, cross up, yes, okay. So I wish I could just have some more fights, but after the general gist of, no, the set's over, I, I didn't get to have any more fights. We had more fights, but he chose to do Ibuki, and I did respectable with the Ibuki, a lot more respectable. Um, but he, he didn't know the Ibuki as well, so... That, <laughs> That kind of negates sort of some of my wins that he didn't know the character that as good as he does Bison. Okay, and see he's FADC in a lot, and I get caught, and that's it. All five matches go to him. Now some of them were exceedingly close, which is which is nice, but it would have been nice to actually win one, in my opinion. But so yeah, the main thing that annoys me a little bit is that after the set's over you don't get to play him anymore and he is like a very good bison i haven't really as far as i can remember met a bison as good as him so the main problem is that it's really hard to get hold of him he doesn't seem to play that often he's doing other things at the minute and when he is i'm sure loads of people are, are after him so it's not going to be that i'm going to get loads of matches and get some practice because i don't think it's the fact that i don't know bison because i i normally quite do <laughs> that sentence doesn't make any sense but I do know Bison but I don't know him um, we fought before on his oh, what was it play till I lose and I won there but he adapted he obviously knew my jumping light kick in the corner trick so now I have to adapt to those matches so I'm going to definitely take these matches into account because I did um, I think I did okay Nerves aside, I didn't. He, he predicted a lot of jumps. I should have remained on the floor, in my opinion, in hindsight. Anyway, if I remain on the floor, throw fireballs and do punches after he tries to dash through them, maybe that could be a good idea. He didn't do any ex scissor kicks through fireballs, so yeah, that's a point actually. His sort of playstyle seems to lack charge, if you know what I mean. He's not a person to keep charge. A lot. He's a very forward momentum character. And when you move forward, you lose charge. So I might have been able to keep him at bay a bit better if I could fireball and do normal pressure a bit better. Um, and try and anti air jumps. That was the stupidest thing. that I didn't do any of that. But I blame that on nerves, if you don't mind. And so I'm afraid that's it. 5-0 to him. Um, I'm going to practice that. But most importantly, I need to change my colour. That will solve all my problems, surely. And hopefully I want another match set within one day. But I don't know if there's a rule that lets you challenge him twice. But anyway, 